In this video, we're going to add our portrait illustration to our background image and bring all elements together. By adding more textural detail and more colour elements, we will see all the work come together as one final piece of artwork. So, step three, the merging of images and the final detail. In the previous video, I said that I'd chosen a warm colour palette and I was going to use a limited colour palette, but I've changed my mind. It was something about the way that the black ink watered down and gave some bluish tones, as there's a lot of blue in the black ink. So I decided that this worked quite well with the warm colour and they kind of work well against each other, the cold and the warm. So I've decided to change my mind. Now you can change your mind with artwork whenever you want. And a lot of the time it's usually because you're informed by the artwork, which is exactly what's happened here, which is great. So I'm just using uh, acrylic paint to paint into this area. Uh, I'm sponging it down as well. I want to work all that beautiful paint into the relief of the collage so that it becomes part of the texture. Here I'm using bubble wrap. I'm going to cut a strip out. I'm going to paint it with acrylic paint. Uh, some pinks and blues in there. I'm going to mix them on the actual bubble wrap itself and spin it over and then print it top right corner. Press it down firmly and you get a great texture from it. I'm going to use the same piece again but introduce some white paint this time just to get some tonal difference and print that at the bottom left. And then with the excess paint on it I'm just going to print it a few more times in different areas on the page and get some more texture in there. And then if you screw it up and use it like a sponge, you can actually get bits of bubble wrap texture in other areas of the canvas as well. A bit of Posca pen doing some musical notes, just adding detail here and there, some words and lettering, little elements to do with music, and just adding to the canvas all the time. A bit more biro pen doing small detail, little elemental details, and then some splats and splashes of acrylic paint, water down in acrylic paint. And then I'm taking my portrait, I'm gonna glue it well at the back, and then firmly press it down in the middle of the picture and make sure it's stuck properly. And I'm just going to wash some watered down acrylic into the face to sort of match the tones up of the colours that I've used. So pinks, purples and some blues. And I'm just following the, the shade and the lines that I've already created within the portrait illustration. I don't want to do too much because I don't want to lose the image. And then with the bubble wrap, it's just printing with it again, taking bits of paint off the plate and just using it like a sponge and and bringing the two elements together so an overlapping the texture into the portrait illustration and and really bringing the image together so there we have it our illustration portrait canvas with a subtle narrative hidden within the texture an energetic picture great detail some lovely texture in there super color really shouts at you and it explodes from the canvas every person has a story to tell and every picture tells a story. And of course, if you've got a smartphone or a tablet, you can photograph this picture and run it through various apps that you can get for those uh, devices and uh, do variations, much like these ones. There is literally no end to the creative process. I really hope you enjoyed this process. It's great to see all that work come together and all that energy, colour, texture and detail as a final piece of artwork. I hope you've been inspired by this process to create some interesting artwork of your own. Thanks for watching and keep creating.